And catalytic converter thefts have dropped significantly over the past year in Minnesota. And recent federal charges against four Minnesota men, part of the reason why that's happening. Fox 9's Rob Olson is live in St. Paul. And so, Rob, these four men are alleged to be the local operation of a nationwide ring. Yeah, the charges that came out yesterday in federal court against these four Minnesota men link back to a larger alleged ring that the uh, feds took down last November. 21 arrests at that time, nearly a year ago. St. Paul police were thanked as being one of the key organizations here to help in that investigation. And when you look at the numbers of thefts in St. Paul alone, it really reflects what has happened over the past year. Our investigators played a large role in this investigation. Statewide thefts of catalytic converters started picking up in mid-2020. And as the numbers began soaring, St. Paul police began looking deeper into who was stealing them, but also who was buying them and where they were going. But we also talked with our federal and uh, local law enforcement partners and learned that this is a bigger problem than just St. Paul. It was statewide and even nationwide. They can't say their exact role, only that it was significant. Directly helped this announcement last November from the feds of 21 arrests in a theft ring spanning nine states, after which time converter thefts began dropping a lot. Yes, we did see a large decline in our theft numbers after these arrests were made. In St. Paul alone, look at the numbers and see the changes. Nearly 1,200 thefts in 2020 and accelerating, jumping to nearly 1,900 in 21, nearly 2,500 in 2022. But this year, through August, in St. Paul, only 523. Yeah, we're down 73% in thefts. Um, in that same time frame? In that same time frame, yes. The announcement from the feds on Tuesday of four Minnesota men now charged in this nationwide ring shed more light on what happened. Evidence of a network of cutters, those who would steal the converters and sell them to the four Minnesota men who are now charged. The indictment alleges they took multiple trips from Minnesota to a buyer in New Jersey with trucks loaded with catalytic converters, in total netting $21 million. Once the feds closed in last fall, the thefts began plummeting. The demand was coming from this ring uh, for people to go out and steal them. They had a place to take them to. That being said, as you see from the numbers, catalytic converter thefts are still happening, although at a fraction of the, the, the rate that they were happening over the past few years, but still occurring. And it's thought, you know, we've got local laws that make it much harder to sell them here. And a, a, a law certainly against having a converter in your possession. But the guess is here they're going across state lines to other places where you can sell them to scrapyards. So again, something to still keep an eye out for and report to police if you see something suspicious. Live in St. Paul, Robles, Fox 9.